In the case of a defining act, so what is a defining act? A truth is solemnly defined by an ex cathedra pronouncement by the Roman pontiff. So one of the ways in which you can actually um, see something as a defining act is solemnly defining it ex cathedra. So an ex cathedra teaching, in other words, or by the action of an ecumenical council. So in, in this instance, it's talking about a definitive action, um, a solemn definition. So again, putting forward a profession of faith, um, using that solemn language to define something, this sacred council, you know, teaches or something like that. Um, and then also using a canon and then anathematizing the op opposite um, proposition. Those are generally conce uh, conceded as um, definitive and solemn ways that an ecumenical council teaches. But it says in the case of non-defining acts, or a non-defining act, a doctrine is taught infallibly by the ordinary and universal magisterium of the, of the bishops throughout the world who are in communion with the successor of St. Peter. So if the ordinary and universal magisterium maintains this teaching as definitive, as infallible, it is taught infallibly, and it could be either dogma or, cath or, or definitive Catholic doctrine, primary or secondary object. It could be either, but in this case we call it um, a non-defining act because it in no one place solemnly defines it. That's the that's the nature of the ordinary and universal magisterium. It's in no one place that it solemnly defines something. Um, if it was just in one place solemnly defined, it would no longer be ordinary and universal. It would now be either ex cathedra or a solemn definition of an ecumenical council. So, <clears throat> again, it says, in the case of a non-defining act, a doctrine is taught infallibly by the ordinary and universal magisterium of the bishops dispersed throughout the world who are in communion with the successor as St. Peter. Such a doctrine can be confirmed or reaffirmed by the Pope, even without recourse to a solemn definition. Did you hear that? Interesting. So, ordinary and universal magisterial teachings that are taught definitively can be confirmed so the Pope could actually confirm it in his magisterium or reconfirmed. And it doesn't even have to be in a solemn papal definition, an ex cathedra teaching. It could just be in a papal encyclical or something like that. Um, I want to say some argue ordinatio sacerdotalis is an example of that, while others maintain ordinatio sacerdotalis is actually ex cathedra. So there's a debate on that.